company. So like it is a lead gen. Yeah. Like your, your Eugene review, that project is a lead generator in and of itself. And before you know it, if done correctly, and if done, you know, where you're getting lots of content put out, go find your journalism students that, you know, want to want to work and 10 bucks an article. interview card in there with my like a assignment are you in a college so, town are you in a college town uh not the best it's marion indiana it's not uh not really a college town is it where's the college is the next town over or something yeah ball state university muncie indiana okay um yeah i mean listen at the, at the end of the day I, uh, your approach will work the way you're doing it currently i just feel like the Eugene review technique is so lights out because it accomplishes so many different things at one point, mm -hmm. a, easy foot in the door, easy conversations, easy Rolodex builder with the perfect people for you to be talking to B gets your pitch down. You get to talking to people. You get good at understanding businesses. You get good. C your Eugene review site. If you do it, that route becomes an asset. That asset is valuable. Mine, as I have told you guys, sold back in 2000 and whatever year I sold that thing with the rest of my company. So like it is a lead gen. Yeah. Like, your, your Eugene review, that project is a lead generator in and of itself. And before you know it, if done correctly and if done, you know, where you're getting lots of content put out, go find your journalism students that, you know, want to want to work and 10 bucks an article record the thing over zoom, give them the transcription, let them freaking go re-edit it from the words that were spoken and do a really easy with no ums and ahs. There you got freaking, I mean, 2000 words of content for and do one interview a day. If you can do two, do two. I'd much rather you spend seven hours with seven conversations and interviews with content and asset building than just seven hours of uh, screencasts that aren't getting you to the result enough times that you want nor the, even the conversation of being, you know, you're getting ghosted. Right. Yeah. Um, last but not least, like, you know, be upfront with the person straight up. Hey, like, I'm really busy. I'm a, uh, you know, like I run this, I'm a call. Like if you want to tell them you're a college student, tell them a college student and have a reason. Like I'm a computer science major. And so I have a full schedule. So like, if you can't make it, I'm totally cool with it, but let's decide that right now. Cause the last thing I want to do is like show up. And again, the review, if you use the review technique, they won't ghost you because they're afraid. The power of the pen. You can say whatever you want. Uh -huh. Everyone. Hey, hey, they scheduled an appointment. I was going to help them with something and they didn't show up. I'm really on. Send them, send them that. They'll show up. Yeah. I'll shake that. Uh, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start that tomorrow. I already have like a, a prospecting list. So I'm going to probably Facebook try that. Group, you have a Facebook group? Uh, yeah, I am in some. I've, no, what no, I've been doing. You have a Facebook group for local, for your local. Oh yeah. I made one a while back, but I haven't really done much with it. Okay. Why don't you do something with that this week? Get that thing moving. That's an asset as well. That's going to be a big part of some like the stuff I'm training you guys here in the future. It's a gold mine. It's an asset. It's a positioning thing that people want to take part in, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta sell the vision. Like, Hey, I'm with XYZ Indiana review. We work with small businesses as well as consumers. We also have a very, very big presence in the college towns around, you know, whatever your pitch is. And we love, we're doing, uh, we're interviewing the top three XYZ businesses in XYZ city. Um, and we've heard some incredible things as well as the Google reviews are incredible about your company. Uh, when can we get on a zoom meeting? I'd love doing an interview. You can check out our site. It's xyzreview.com. We also have the Facebook group. What we generally do is we do an interview, find out a little bit about you. We uh, submit you the article. If there's any editorial changes you need, we can take care of that before we go live. Then we push it out into a social media blitz. And I imagine you're asking why we do this. People advertise on our site, people put banners on our site, and we're ultimately trying to build something very, very large that serves the local community with real information, real news, right with the people, the, 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 the heart of the community. And the only way we think we can do that is by talking to you directly instead of listening to you know what the media and who the media decides to do interviews with, which we all know it's the people that spend money, you know, yeah. in the newspaper already. So you just get your pitch ready, man, and then just go to work on them. Okay. You build so many relationships so fast. You have a Rolodex like you wouldn't believe, and it will dovetail into lots and lots of money. Definitely. I'm going to start doing that.